Elementary Tai Chi Jian, 32 Movements Tai Chi Jian. Section 1, Movement Number 3 and 4. Movement Number 3, Crouching Stance Horizontal Sweep. 1. Turn the upper body back to the right. As the body turns, the sword hack backwards to the right, the right arm aligned straight with the sword, the left sword finger positioned at the right wrist. At the same time as the body turns, the right knee bends forward, and the left leg lowers backwards and sideward to the left, and straightening the knee. Look towards the tip of the sword. 2. Turn the body to the left, the sword finger of the left hand change to reverse pointing and moves from the front of the body along the left rib to the back and upward to the left in an arc and position at the upper front of the left forehead, with the palm facing upwards, the right hand holding the sword, turns to the palm facing upwards, and sweeps the sword from the bottom to the upper left, the force is exerted at the midsection of the blade, the sword is at the chest level, while the body is turning, bend the right knee into a half crouching stance, without stopping the movement, gradually shifts the center of gravity of the body forward, the left toes turning outward, bend the left knee, turn the right toes inward, and straighten the right leg naturally, and form a left bow stance. Look towards the tip of the sword. Keynotes. The above two breakdown sub-movements should be executed continuously. When performing the bow stance, keep the body upright. Teaching cues. The trainer should draw attention to the trainees, that from the single leg stance reverse thrust to the crouching stance horizontal sweep, firstly, the knee should relax, and at the same time, the turning of the waist and the landing of the step should be well coordinated, the left sword finger reverse pointing and the turning of the waist should be well coordinated, when sweeping the sword, the blade should be kept parallel to the ground. Movement number 4, right horizontal backward draw. Lift the right leg, passing by the inner side of the left leg, and take a step forward to the right to form a right bow stance. At the same time, the right hand holding the sword, extends forward and turn the palm facing down, gradually bring back the sword to the right, bending the elbow, and move to the front of the right rib, the force exerts on the right side of the blade, and the tip of the sword being slightly higher than the hand. The left sword finger lowers and positions at the right wrist. Look towards the tip of the sword. Keynotes. The backward draw of the sword and the knee bending of the bow stance should be well coordinated. Teaching cues. The trainer should draw attention to the trainees, that when stepping forward, the two feet should not be aligned in a straight line. The backward draw of the sword and the slight right turning of the waist should be well coordinated.